Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment in Art Student Watch's animated movie and I am your local illustration major and today we're going to be watching another movie that is not Disney. And I know last week we did watch Beauty and the Beast and if you want to check that out we do have a link at the end of the video but you thought, you thought we were going to do more Disney Renaissance movies, ha! Huh? No, but instead of that, we are going to be watching Song of the Sea, and I am so excited to watch this movie. It's from Cartoon Saloon, apparently. I have not seen a movie from the studio before, but I'm really, really interested to check it out because of how interesting their style is. I'm also really interested in the studio because it seems like they're one of the few studios that are actually doing feature-length 2D animated movies. Because, you know, all the other studios have, like, gone to 3D and stuff, so I'm really interested to see 2D because I do prefer 2D animation over 3D, you know, just personal, personal, uh, opinion there, but I just, I just like 2D animation more. It's just, like, there's something about it, you know? Uh, besides that, though, I do know that these movies are based on, like, Irish folklore. I think the studio is based in Ireland and they have, like, two other movies that are kind of in this, like, folklore series, and I know the first one, I don't actually know the title, but there's a first one, and then there's Song of the Sea, and then Wolf Walkers, and Wolf Walkers I'm really interested to see as well after this one, because it got nominated for the Oscars, so I'm like, oh my goodness, this studio is actually getting some attention, hooray, that's great. But you might be like, why are you picking the one that's in the middle? Why don't you watch the first one, or the last one that got nominated, and I'm just like, well... It seems that these movies have, like, a designated color palette, at least from, like, screenshots that I've seen, and you got, like, the green one, and then the blue one, and then the orange one, and I'll be honest, I just want to watch a blue movie today. <laughs> so yeah, why don't we just jump into this blue movie? I don't know if it's all blue, but I'd like, I'd like to see some prominent blue features today, so let's, let's do that. I do really like Selkies, with the vague understanding that I have of them. They're interesting folklore creatures, I like them. The dog is so cute though. Oh, whoops. Huh? Is she a Selkie? A lot of the um, composition is very like centered in the center. <laughs> it's very much in the center, which is not what you see a lot. I'm sure they're gonna change it up, but. Oh, he's older. It's the giant McLear and his dog. Oh. Their best friend. I don't know much about Irish folklore to be completely honest. <laughs> so very cool though. Is that his sister? I wonder if the backgrounds are done traditionally, but I know you can get those textures digitally, so maybe. Seals. The girl has to be a Selkie then, right? Listen, man, when your wife was a Selkie, what can you do? Did she actually die, though? I don't think so. I like how they're doing, like, the watercolor textures in the background, but still using, like, line work like that. Look at that. That looks so good. I heard of the birthday party above the lighthouse today. Huh? Young is six, is she? I can understand. I can still understand that guy. Don't worry. We're still good. She's going to try and make us move through the city again. Oh no! You're living at a lighthouse. Who would possibly want to make you move to the city? Everybody wants to live in a lighthouse. That's the dream. This just looks so good, though. I know I, I had to randomly pause it to check something, but like this just looks so good. Like they're not even bothering with perspective. They said, "Screw it. Who cares? Everything's flat." It's truly a storybook. It looks great. Here of Maka, the Owl Witch. I haven't. Tell me. Maka's elves will find them and take their feelings and turn wow. them to stone. I love how the cliffs are just like completely like vertical lines like that. And his shape too, look at that, following it. Oh? What the heck is going on with the perspective though? Okay, listen. While I appreciate how flat the perspective is because it does lead to that more like storybook feeling because this is very much like a like a children's book kind of art style. This can kind of be an example of its downfall because I mean she looks huge in comparison to the door and the like stairs because we don't really have like the actual perspective to kind of show how far away it is so it kind of is like a forced perspective kind of situation. I think this would work. I mean, I feel like the camera is at like a lower angle just to keep with the kid because I mean, she's a child so she has like a lower 
you know, viewpoint. I like the flat perspective, but sometimes it looks a little bit strange. <laughs> so definitely something to work with. It's not as easy as people might think just because of that, you know? I Look how cool it is in here. And I also like, by the way, I like, oh wait, let's actually pause this. This looks good. I don't know. It's cool. Like the brightest thing in the piece is the table and like the, the vanity. So I assume that's where we're going, right? But um, I don't know. It's cool. I like how the objects on the left are like dark with the light line work. And then the, the objects in the closet don't even have color. They're just line work. So like they're more in the dark. It looks cool. And yep, we went to the vanity. Look at that. Oh, I feel like I have to talk about the way the characters are illustrated because they use a lot of like curved line work, which flows really nicely. Okay, into the closet. Ooh, oh, that's a magic box. Oh, yeah. Oh, <gasps> wow. I love how it's glowing as well. Look at that. I cannot get over how these rocks are illustrated, though. They look so good. I love how they're like layered on top of one another. That's why I got, like, a watercolor feel from them, because that's what you're supposed to do with the watercolor. Oh! She's like a little white seal! That's so cute! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The way that they're choosing to illustrate the ocean! That looks so cool! <gasps> what?! I love the cut to the warmer bar. Choosing a different color scheme to illustrate the city downtown. Uh, what? Why are these old people hanging out in a, a hole in the ground? What is that? What is that? What was that? What was that? Oh, yeah. Oh! Mulan energy. Was she not supposed to go out there, though? What the heck? She's having the time of her life. That looks sick. She swam with a freaking whale. Oh. What are you going to do with it? Ooh, with the triangle rocks now, we used to see all the circle rocks, but now the triangle rocks? That's cool. That means something in shape language, but I'm too invested to figure it out. <laughs> Poor guy. Lost his wife. Now his daughter is showing seal tendencies. They're leaving the dog?! Too. Oh, this is sad. What the heck? No, what? No, bro, you are a sheepdog. Your fur is gonna get so soaked. Oh, he's making a map so that he could go back. Oh no, oh, that looks stunning though. Look how many kids there are. Oh, wait, is it Halloween? Also, why is there fire in the street? Hold on, this is a lot of things to look at. Ooh, I love that wallpaper, though. And that old radio? Hello? Is Connor their dad? Is that their dad's, like, childhood bedroom? This is probably their dad's old room! Look at- wait, look at the posters! First off, the perspective in this shot is insane. Obviously, that's the ground, but then you have the wall, and again, no perspective, so it's all just the flat pattern. That's so interesting. It's, like, kind of confusing to look at, because I did think that that, like, immediately when I looked at it, it does look like it's still, like, the floor, because it's, you know, flat, and we're looking from above, but it's a really cool concept, you know? Normally, you wouldn't do something like this, so I, I think it's interesting to try and pull off. I mean, all of the stuff on the walls are just like laying flat too. That's so cool. I like how we can see a little bit more of uh, their dad's personality from this though. That's cute. I'm going to get he just wants a dog. Why can't the, why can't they have the dog? Oh, the dog's too big for the city. Pff, okay. Oh, just jump out the window. Okay. I love the town design though. Look at the little stuff in the windows. That's so cute. Don't worry, Seki. We have your court. Come with us. Bro, I'd be like, get away from my sister, you strange men. <laughs> the heck? Oh, now he's gonna get dragged along. I'd be like, uh, stranger danger. Don't touch her. She's like a child. I'd also like to remind uh, any Europeans watching that America does have roundabouts. We know what they are. We have them. Just a reminder. <laughs> oh, shoot. Ooh, secret club. Hey. Oh, with the chalk drawings too? That's so cool. Yeah, this is a bop. Oh, wait, are the owls bad? Are they gonna kill the owls? 
That guy has a sword! Oh, oh no! Oh shoot, wait a minute. Oh, not their souls in the jars. All right, well, we got a mission now. Hooray for the plot. Are you really a Selkie? Oh, genie mackerel. <laughs> Aw. Oh, the sunbeams look so cool. I love the way they're illustrating the sky and the clouds with, like, the watercolor letting it bleed like that. Uh, girl, what? Oh my god! Oh my god, the baby foxes! Wow, that's so cute. Also, this forest looks amazing. Badgers! Oh my god! <gasps> Oh my goodness, I love these. I love this. I love the curving shapes. I l it just like Oh my god. This it's this whole movie is so pleasant to look at, but I love the environments. I love how it's like a like a lot of just watercolor texture and then they go in with it looks like almost color pencil, honestly. Uh if they are doing the backgrounds traditionally. They could they could still be digital, theoretically. They have a lot of range in digital art to make it look traditional, but I just I like the texture a lot. I love the little like plant details like in the bottom left they look so cute sheep they're so <gasps> look at the patterns of the sheep with the swirls oh my oh and those look sick too they look like owls but also that looks so cool oh my god everything in this movie looks so cool i can't even like this is too much <laughs> also she looks like she's about to pass out <gasps> oh no oh that's what happened to the mom she has to go back to the ocean or else she gets sick <laughs> into the drink. I love the way the water's animated as well. And the roots of the trees look really cool too. Oh, he can't swim! Oh, but the dog can. <laughs> oh, shoot. They're really getting a lot of mileage out of that, um, that leash device for the plot, right? <laughs> That's not good. Oh, dear. Oh. Waffles! Waffle boats! Oh! Whoops! Well, uh. That's not good. Oh, shoot! Oh, the swirls were the guy's hair! Oh, god! Oh, what? I love this guy's animation, though. I'm looking for my sister. Oh, shoot. I lost her down here. Oh, the way this guy's flowing in and out. Again, I love characters with animation like that. Oh, and the way the hair flows out. Oh my goodness. This guy's great. I don't know what he is, but he looks pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, hello. This is Maclear. Ah, right. Maka sent her owls to take his suffering away. Oh. And turn him to stone. I mean, you kind of had to do that. He was going to, like, drown everyone. So, understandable this time, Owls. You got one. Oh, I love that, though. I love that. I love when the character breaks down to just, like, the eyes and the ears and the hair. So cool. But, like, I feel like when the boy tries to explain what's going on to his dad, it's not going to, like, work. He's not going to believe him. Oh, but I love the flowing lines, though. The curves. So nice. Oh. <gasps> what? Is that memories from of his mom? I have no more time. I have to save our baby. I'm so oh! Oh dear! Look how rough this ocean is! Oh no! Ah! Swallowed up. A lot of the shapes of the trees are more triangular now. I feel like triangles are more threatening in this movie, and then curved like spheres and circles are more friendly vibes. Oh, look at the, the storm cloud looks so cool, too. It's just swirling shapes, though. There's no, like, soft watercolor pieces in that. Ooh, dangerous. Nope. Oh, well. It's warm and cozy in here. Ooh. Oh, what? The grandmother's radio? Wait a minute. No, what? That's so terrible, you know. 
She does look like an owl, though. That looks so cool. The way that the hair is, like, framing the face. Is it not- okay, this character's not the grandma, right? But I feel like- is this kind of, like, parallel to her grandma and feeling like she knows best for them? Or, like, just she knows best for all the fairies, I guess? And it's kind of, like, how their grandma feels like she knows best for the kids. Is that it? And in reality, it's, like, not the best situation for them? Is that the vibe that I'm getting at? They're not the same character, they're just like parallels to one another. Please, try to understand. We need your help. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. Oh my god. The the lighting. Oh, this is scary. Oh dear. If I can free your feelings, then maybe. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Come on, girl, you can do it! Oh no, she looks... not good. I think this is a really interesting concept to try and get her to... care about living? Because- so, in order to do that, getting her emotions back. That's so cool. Ugh, okay. Just had to change the battery, so hopefully everything still looks good. But anyways, uh, she just... died. <laughs> you good? Her hair's all white. Oh dear. Is the dog gonna fly? Oh! What? Dog spirits? Whoa! Oh, that's so cool! Alright, now you have a lot to explain to your dad. Well, he knows that his wife was a silky, right? She needs to get to a hospital. No! I knew this was gonna happen! Come on! Come on! Oh no, no! He's losing his life jacket! That has to mean something. I'm not smart enough to figure it out, though. Ooh, with the lighting, too. Oh, that's cool. The seals will help him, though. Oh, wait, is the dad gonna go after him? <gasps> oh, no! Coat time. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hurry up, guys. Hur oh, I, the, the, the air's up there! Keep moving! Oh, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Alright. Coat time, good to go. Everything's fine. All, everyone almost drowned, but it, it's okay. Put the coat on. Nope. Oh. Seal. Oh my goodness. Now what? Oh, she has to sing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hello? Oh, I like how they are able to rotate the character like that. Ooh. You're not actually gonna awaken the whole like mountain guy, right? He's he's staying a rock. That was a done deal. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go, my friends. Are they gonna get their bodies back? They're just spirits, though. They still have a sick band, though. Wow. Wow. I don't, like, even know what to say about this. A lot of the sequences in this movie are just, like, breathtaking. Look at this. It's so magical. Oh, were those his dogs? Oh! So the rocks stay put, though. Noted. I was gonna say, I feel like people would notice if a freaking mountain decided to get up and walk away, you know? <gasps> Actually, stop. Look what the ocean washed up. Ah! Oh wait, is there- is it- is the mom gonna take her? To live in the ocean with her? All of my kind must leave tonight. <gasps> but Saoirse, you are part human. Please hug at the end, Oh! I loved you so much. I still do. No! Stop, I'm gonna cry. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> no! Uh. Jeez, uh. Oh no! I cried, I cried, we're done. <laughs> Mission accomplished, guys! <laughs> oh. And we're transitioning to a full watercolor. Is that it? Mmm. Oh! Oh, I'm glad I didn't pause it. Okay, we have more stuff. Oh my goodness! 
They still get to swim with seals, though. That's such a sick deal. Oh my god. And that's the end. Oh. Are these, like, actual concept images? It is! Oh my goodness! <gasps> okay, I'm gonna sit and look at the concept pictures. And the character design. Oh! The character design in this movie is so good. So cool, we get to see the animatics. And then the pencil work! <gasps> Oh, I love that they did this to show us the like behind the scenes kind of. They said, this movie's gorgeous and we know that you know that, so we're gonna show you the process work because we know you wanna see it. I do wanna see it, thank you. Okay, I don't even know where to begin with this. Okay, let's let's talk about the art, let's talk about everything. First off, made me cry. If the other characters are crying, then I think it's fair for me to cry. You know what I mean? I was honestly kind of intimidated to watch these movies for the video because, I mean, it speaks for itself. I mean, the art style is so, like, striking and unique and, like, impressive that, like, what what's, what's there for me to say? I mean, you guys can see it with your own eyes. It's stunning. About the art style, though, I feel like the thing that stands out the most pretty clearly is the shape. I mean, they're using a lot of shapes in their design, and I say that because a lot of other movies don't really lean towards that. I feel like it is more prevalent in 2D animated movies, which is why I like it more. Um, but like the background illustration uses like, it's it's like stylized. I mean, you look at Disney and Pixar movies now and anything that's doing like 3D animation and all the backgrounds are like focused on being like hyper realistic, like, oh, realistic water, realistic sand textures, realistic like, um, just realistic environments. And I'm like, but why though? You know, what's, why? You know, I mean, it's cool that you can pull it off, but, like, why? <laughs> you know? I'll always appreciate this that kind of gives the environment its own character and, like, through the style. Does that make any sense? And it's not- I don't want to say, like, oh, it's only in 2D animated movies. I mean, Spider-Verse did this amazingly, the way that they handled their environments, and that- uh, that movie looked great, right? So, I don't know. It, it can be done in 3D, and I just hate that the major studios- aren't doing that. That's why I really, like, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't be complaining about the 3D animated movies, but, like, I don't care about realistic texture. I want to see, like, interesting styles and an interesting use of just shape and texture that's not, like, the obvious, oh, re recreating the real world, you know, so. And honestly, I'm still thinking about the rocks. I love the half circle rocks. They just looked really cool. I mean, they really employed a watercolor texture really beautifully. I mean, it's just, like, What's the- I mean, it's so obvious in your face that it's, like, so well done. What am I- what am I even here for? What am I talking about? I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. What am I supposed to say? But, um, my god, it's so good. In terms of shape, though, I really like how the movie was using a lot of, like, swirls and curves and stuff. It had a really nice flow and movement to it. Movement being how your eye moves throughout the piece, or I guess the shot in this case. It was really, like, engaging to look at because of those curved shapes. I do know that we're probably gonna watch the other movies in this, uh, like, trilogy of folklore, and I'm wondering, like, are those movies also gonna keep this theme of the kind of curving shapes? Because I feel like the curving shapes really lend themselves to this feeling of the ocean, right? Because it's just, like, swirling water and stuff, so I'm wondering if that same energy is gonna keep with, like, Wolf Walkers, which I think is what we're gonna watch next, or the Kells one, I don't know. But, like, I don't- I, I mean, it might. We'll see. I'm sure they're gonna keep the theme of, like, the circles and the, like, centered composition, but I don't know. I'm interested to check them out and, like, compare and contrast them, so I guess we'll be doing that next week, maybe. We'll see. But anyways, I guess I'm gonna cut it there because, I mean, I'm sure we're gonna talk more about the art in the next, like, following movies when we watch the other two, but that was good. My goodness. I can see why so many people are starting to rave about the studio and these movies. I mean, they're so well done. And again, I'm really happy that they are keeping with 2D animation and that they are like making it happen because I mean, good seeing more 2D animated feature length movies is just what I'm trying to say. So that was great. But anyways, if you'd like to see more videos by me, you could consider subscribing. And if you'd like to check out the previous movies that we watched, which were Beauty and the Beast and Thumbelina, I forgot, Beauty and the Beast and Thumbelina, you could check out those videos over there. And if you'd like to check out some of my art, you could check out my Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. I also have a Twitch where I do art live streams, so if you want to stop by, chat about art, or just hang out, you can check out that as well. But anyways, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.